will discuss the difference between the mass and weight. In the case of traction system, we often confuse the difference between the mass and weight. Here let me consider first the definition of mass and weight and then we go to the examples and there we try to analyze it. What is mass? Mass is nothing but it is a matter contained in a body and coming to the weight it is nothing but the it is the force acting on the object due to the gravitation. So let us take examples. So here is an apple whose mass is 1 kg and here there is a mango whose mass is 2 kg. Here is a cabbage whose mass is 3 kg. And let us assume that here there is an acceleration working on these objects which is equal to 10 meters per second square. And we know the Newton's second law that is force acting on an object having the mass m is nothing but f is equal to m a. So we, say, we can say that force is nothing but weight and that weight is equal to force f that is equal to m into a. So when we apply this formula to the apple, we get weight of the apple is equal to 1 into 10, that is 10 newtons we get. So the weight of 1 kg apple is 10 newtons. Similarly, when we take the mango whose mass is 2 kgs, when we apply the Newton's second law, we get the weight is equal to force is equal to m into a. So m is nothing but 2 kgs into force. The acceleration acting on this mango is 10 meter per second square. So 2 into 10, we get 20 newtons. So the weight of the 2 kg mass mango is nothing but 20 newtons. When it comes to the cabbage, so here the mass is 3 kgs and the acceleration working on this is 10 meters per second square. So the weight of this is given by weight is equal to force is equal to m into a. So m is 3 kgs. The acceleration working on this is 10 meters per second uh, meters per second square. So 3 into 10 we get 30 newtons. So a cabbage whose mass is 3 kgs will have the weight 30 newtons. So all these units here, whatever we discussed, they are nothing but the absolute units. So we know the weighing machine on which we see the our weight. What is the meaning of this? So this is the weighing machine. So let us uh, see there is a fat person. So there is a thin person. So when we see here, so let us say the fat person mass is 100 kgs and the thin person mass is 50 kgs. Then what is the weight of this fat woman? So then we can calculate weight of this woman is given by W is equal to F is equal to M into A. And we let us assume that the acceleration working on these two people is 10 meters per second meters per second square. So then we find the weight of this fat woman is 100 into 10 that is 1000 newtons. When it comes to the thin woman, her mass is 50 kgs, whereas her weight is W is equal to F is equal to M into A. So M is 50. So A is 10. So we get 500 newtons. So what we find in this meters is this 1000 newtons, 500 newtons. Suppose we use the gravitational acceleration 
this gravitational force acting on these bodies say to the humans so then what we get we see here so w is equal to f into m into f is equal to m into a so we know the mass of this fat man that is 100 kgs so into the gravitational force the gravitational acceleration acting on her is nothing but 9.81 meters per second square so we get 981 newtons so similarly we can calculate what is the weight in the gravitational unit on the thin woman is nothing but w is equal to f is equal to m into a so m is nothing but 50 and the gravitational uh, acceleration is 9.81 so we get the weight of this thin woman is 490.5 newtons so from this discussion, we can say the mass is not equal to the weight. Mass is different and weight is different. Mod, mass is just a, a matter contained in your body, whereas weight is nothing but the force acting on your body. 